Record Box 7.1.1 is the version we're working with. And this is going to be designed for those of you who are just starting Record Box, who have not used it beginner level. So here's what it looks like. I'm going to assume that you already have it installed. I may do an ins installation video later if uh, anybody needs that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pull tracks into your record box. Uh, I've already done a video on importing from a folder um, and also analysis settings. So I'm going to link to that at the end of the video. Uh, go ahead and watch that one if you want to get more information on how to import your tracks and how to analyze them in record box. So let's assume we've imported some tracks. Uh, very first icon over here on the left. This is your collection. This is everything you've pulled into record box. So you can sort it here by these different uh, categories you see on the left, which is kind of handy, especially when you pull new music in and you want to uh, find the music you just pulled in and maybe create a playlist for a gig or a genre or something like that. So this is the collection tab. Underneath that, we have our playlists. This is where all of the playlists that you create uh, are going to live. So um, top level, you have folders, and then under that, you have actual playlists that you can go uh, put inside of the folders. Tree view and column view, that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the next one down is the uh, related tracks button. This will show you tracks that are related to whatever you're playing currently. And uh, I'll tell you what, let me go ahead and load one, and I can show you how this will work. The uh, related tracks, all right, so BPM and key. So you're going to look for tracks that are in the same BPM and the same key. You can choose how closely you want it to match right here. So uh, where you choose which track or which deck you want to use is right here. You can click this to keep it on the master or just whichever deck you're using. And then it will find songs that are in compatible keys uh, and similar BPM. Uh, next, we have track suggestion, which is kind of the same as related tracks. It, uh, this is for um, your collection. Streaming is for your cloud accounts. And what this will do is go through those and do the same thing as the related tracks, more or less. It'll find songs that are similar um, in BPM and, and uh, incompatible keys. You can set it to, you know, era, mood, whatever you want. So it'll find songs based on the criteria that you choose that are close to what you're playing, <clears throat> which is pretty helpful, especially if you, you know, are drawing a blank. You can pull that up, and it'll give you a bunch of songs that will work next uh, to choose from. Uh, next one down, sampler. I don't use that. Um, I have some samples stored on, uh, stored on my uh, cue pads or on my sampler pads. I don't really use this, so I'm not going to speak about it. Next is iTunes. I don't use this one. I can never get iTunes to work correctly uh, by itself, let alone with Rekordbox. But if you're using iTunes, this is where you integrate right here, or this is where you go to, to your iTunes. Next is Apple Music. Uh, which I am using and does seem to work fairly well. I also have a visit video on how to set this up and how to use Apple Music in Rekordbox. Uh, let's see, SoundCloud and Beatport or BeatSource. Uh, these are, again, more streaming services that you can connect to. I don't have them logged in right now. Uh, coming down next, this is your file explorer, so you can just go straight into your root drives. Uh, devices, this is going to be your uh, Bluetooth devices that are connected. There's nothing connected right now. And this icon down here is uh, where you would, if you've got an iPad or an iPhone or, or um, Android, whatever, that you want to connect to Rekordbox, you hit this and it'll search. Uh, once you've got Rekordbox set up on your mobile device, it, this is how you search to find it. And then um, it'll list your devices right here. Uh, coming down next, cloud export, that's uh, kind of a more advanced thing. Well, I won't get into that right now. Um, cloud play direct, that's yeah, another advanced feature. That's so you can play music directly out of the record box cloud, which I don't use. Uh, let's see here, history. This is your play history, so you can go back and see whatever dates you played and go back and see what songs and tracks you played, which is pretty handy. And then finally down here is where you would do your where your recordings if you're recording your sets. So uh, since we're on recordings, I'll go ahead and show you where to get to that. And again, I'll keep saying this. Uh, you hit the space bar to toggle between your uh, mixer view and full screen on the play on the uh, track list. So if you want to record your set, come up here to the recording panel, turn that on, and then this is it right here. Here's your gain and your record button. And you can go into the settings and choose where it stores it, where it stores the files that it records. Exiting out of the mix view, let's see. Okay, that's it. We've covered the left-hand side. Now going down the right-hand side, over here is your tag list. 
So this is where you create all of your custom tags. You can tag your songs in Rekordbox so that it makes it easier to find what you're looking for and you can cross-reference them between genre, subgenre, energy level, mood, any tags you want to create. So after you get your tags set up, you can go into the tag list. And so this will have a, you know, there'll be tags in here already, but all you do is double click on them and you can change the name and you can uh, change the headings. So you've got your subheadings right here. You can change the name on those as well. If you want to create a new one, you just hit the plus button next to one of the tags that's already there and that'll give you a new tag. Uh, I think there is a limit, but I haven't hit it yet, so I don't know how many it is. So after you set up your tags, if you want to search for your tracks by tag, you use the track filter, which is right here. Uh, let's see here. All right, so over here you have your BPM where you can choose how far uh, away you'll allow the track to be from the current BPM you're using. Same thing with key, ratings, color. Um, you can choose all these different categories. And then over here, for example, uh, genre, subcontinent. So if I want country and I want... Um, you know, something that I've uh, listed as a party tune, you know, so it's upbeat right there. You click these and then you activate them. And then down here is the list of songs and it tells you right here how many it came up with. So we've came, we came up with 204 tracks that are country party tunes. Um, so right here is where you access that. Uh, this is the same thing as over here. This is your related tracks. It just gives it to you on the right hand side. Um, so if you go in here and choose deck one and then there's all your related tracks and you can just scroll through those and see how far they off as far, far how far off they are as far as BPMs, uh, and all of that. Uh, continuing down, there's the uh, track suggestion. Again, this is the same thing that's over here. It's just over on the right side. Uh, the information window. This is, uh, this is one you're going to be using a lot because this is where you can change the information on your tracks. You can double click in any of these fields and change them. Or you can go over here and bring up the info window and go to the info tab. And then here's your track title, artist, uh, ratings, color, genre, all of that. Uh, and the great thing about this is you can do, so, you know, say all of my Tupac, I had that in the wrong uh, genre or whatever, you can click on this and then uh, go in here and change it right here. And then when you uh, hit enter or exit out, it will change all of those. Um, it'll do, it'll batch process. Uh, let's see. All right. Continuing down here. This is um, just a second browser. It gives you a second vertical browser, this button here. Um, the uh, horizontal browser um, is down here. This button will give you a second horizontal browser. And last on the right hand side is your auto mix playlist. So this is just what it sounds like. It's an auto mix. So this is what I use for background music at a, a festival or something like that during a time where nobody's dancing. Or for example, if you need to go to the bathroom, you can load three or four tracks in here. Um, you know, if, if you're not doing a dance set, if you're doing dinner music or whatever, and it'll, it'll automatically mix them. It doesn't do the best job, but it's decent for background music. Uh, but that's how you do that. You can just choose whatever songs you want to choose out of whichever pl playlist and then just drag them straight in here. And when you drag one into the player and begin playing, it will automatically just go down through the list and it will mix these, uh, you know, it does a decent job for automated mixing for background music. So I think that'll do it for today. This is uh, should help you get started with Record Box. I'll be doing more of these, and then later, uh, you know, after I cover as much of the absolute beginner level stuff as I can, I'll go back and go a little deeper into some of the other stuff. So uh, if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see me do or have questions about as far as beginning and getting started with Record Box, let me know. I uh, appreciate the comments and would love if you guys would like and subscribe, and I'll keep doing more of these. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.